This Franco-Flemish hunting scene tapestry is called a meal fleur style, which means a thousand flowers in French. This style of original tapestries from the Middle Ages are considered rare. Gothic tapestries such as this hunting scene, as well as similar famous meal fleur tapestries involving the unicorn, were made from the early 15th century until about 1510 in the early 16th century. Experts believe that the style is derived from the medieval custom of strewing cut flowers upon the ground for important events such as festivals. This tapestry is made of wool and silk and the artists and school are unknown. This tapestry depicts a story of a hunt of a stag on a background of a thousand different flowers and a wooded forest of trees. A hunting party has entered a clearing where stumps of felled trees emerge from a thick carpet of wildflowers and the forest edge forms a lush backdrop. The tapestry is colorfully decorated in reds, golds, and blues and the huntsmen wear soft hats and tunics with full sleeves, wide collars, and gathered shirts girdled at the waist. A group of three on horseback gathers in the clearing at the left. The foremost figure carries an upright staff. He and another wear curved hunting horns slung from the waist, and their steeds step high. The fourth huntsman gallops on his horse across the field beyond them with a hound and blows his horn in pursuit of a buck exiting into the forested area. Two men on foot tend and restrain the anxious pack of hunting dogs in the foreground. As may be expected in a tapestry of this period, circa 1500, restorations are considerable, and numerous small repairs have been carried out over the body of the panel. This Franco-Flemish 15th century tapestry hangs in the billiard room at Hearst Castle and can be seen on our Grand Rooms tour.